What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. Let's start this video with Michael Crizzo with another crazy update as he is days out of making his IFBB Pro debut. And as expected, there are no heavy hitters entering Prague this year, unlike last year when Prague was filled with bodybuilding stars. To name a few, Samson was the winner, that was also his first pro win. Rafael Brunda was second, and then there was Regan Grimes, Nathan Diesha, and Rolly Winkler. So, it is kinda disappointing to see this year's lineup, but it is Michael's much awaited pro debut. I mean, fans have waited for this moment for years. So, looking forward to what looks to be a much improved package from Michael than what we saw a few weeks back. Enrico Hoffman could very well be Michael's biggest competition here in Prague. The guy placed fourth in Italy a few weeks back. And there was a huge uproar that he deserved to beat Mark Hector, who was in a mediocre condition in that show. And apparently, Enrico didn't like the thumbnail that next strength and power put up yesterday. And here is him clarifying that he never said he will beat Crizzo again. We should expect a much bigger and better package from Patrick Moore the next time he steps on stage as he had a real long off season. He claimed that due to pressure from his sponsors, he didn't get a break from competing and that's the reason of him not getting bigger over the years. When he was specifically told by the judges in 2019, when he made his Olympia debut, that he needs more size to move up in the open class. So Patrick hasn't competed since last year's Legion Sports. That's almost one year of progressive season. We are gonna see him hit the stage sometime in 2023. Brandon Curry is on the grind and he is staying covered up for this one. What if Brandon Curry shows up like the Arnold Classic 2019, the most complete he has ever logged in his career? He will definitely be fighting for the title. If short span of prep was the only reason for his performance at this year's Arnold Classic, yeah, he did win the title but that was far from his best. So if that was the only reason, then we are about to see a totally different Brendan at the Olympia this year. He went to Kuwait at 17 weeks out, and that is plenty of time for him. Kian Pearson is without a doubt the most genetically gifted bodybuilder in the 212 when it comes to shape. Looks like he has been holding it very well in terms of diet. Because that's pretty dry for 8 weeks out. Kion has been winning shows knowing that he can do much better than this when it comes to conditioning. Imagine if Kion shows up matching the condition of Kamal or Sean. I think he will be right up there fighting for the title. And he might win. Aaron Banks and Brendan Hendrickson certainly do not like each other. And I think it was really close between these two last year when Brendan won his third title. Aaron is coming back with everything he has got to dethrone the champion this year. And according to him, this has been a 32 weeks prep. Aaron has the best back in the men's physique division. He was asked to bring up his chest and that he did. Will that be enough to beat the three times champ Brendan? Or will Brendan win or will Brendan win another title? and tie the record of Jeremy Bundad this year. I think it is a rivalry worth watching. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.